What's going on folks, Simulation for the Nation here, and we are just over one year from the release of FS22, so I figured, with a little bit of inspiration from Mr. DJ Goham, who did something similar, so shout out to DJ as always, but I figured we would go through a bit of a top 5 series. So the top 5 mods on Mod Hub right now that you can download there that are the best in that specific category. So we're going to go through tractors today, we're going to look into uh, machine packs as well, uh, we're also going to look into some of the other key areas and uh, machines such as uh, harvesters for example trucks perhaps and many many more but let's get going with tractors now i've done things similar to this before where i've uh, discussed what makes a good tractor but today we're going to look into the top five available on the mod hub right now in my opinion for farm sim 22 so let's start we're going to go through these one by one and we're going to start really with this gem well this is the ford series 10 force 3 this is available on the mod like i say it's by john deere 2450 with matt xjs's help as well this thing is sublime and it's sublime for many different reasons there the configurations are out of this world to begin with four or six cylinders there are seven different engine configurations there along with a whole load of different tire configurations you can go for as well so externally the detail is going to be there straight away if we have a look in and around the engine bay there you can really start to see that and it looks just sublime it's the same can be said internally as well as you have a look around the, the cabin here all the levers look fantastic the detail really pops out of you and what i really look for in my mods and what's really evident here is the animation and the detail when you start up a lot of you will know if you watch my mod in the minute shorts that i really look for animation and how thing how immersive a machine feels this one is really really good you've got key turning you've got the choke going in the clutches down there as well as you start to change to the gears they of course change up and the lights all reflect that on the dashboard too really really useful when you come to turn on things like your beacons or your lights you'll see all of the lights start to turn on and that is reflected on the dashboard there as well it's a nice small to medium sized track for this as well i think it maxes out about 136 horsepower if you get this version with the turbo inside of it not the quickest in the world there but you can get it to 30 to 31 kilometers an hour so uh, uh it's it'll get around but it's a steady little sized tractor but the detail is just incredible this has done very very well as well in the mod hub during its time when it's been downloaded and it's still one of the highly rated mods out there but it's iconic for many farmers and many fans of uh, british and european agriculture but it just looks sublime now that's gonna be a bit of a theme as we run through these mods here today uh we're looking for strong animation good immersion there detail and popularity and so the next one up is going to be amg gaming's massey ferguson 5400 series there are two different options you get the newer style and the older model there but it's a brilliant brilliant model here absolutely sublime this model that we're looking at here is the newer version it's a 5475 uh this is just frankly a, a beautiful looking tractor i love these masses I, a lot of people have been using them and I, I was fortunate enough to get early access to these and i've used them very frequently and i think they're just absolutely excellent really a lot of details gone into this and again similarly to the ford over there a lot of animation has gone in as well which when you're sitting inside of a, a cab really makes it feel like you are driving and operating this machine it really gives you that feeling of uh, full immersion that allows you to really buy into it in my opinion there so when you shut the door you'll find that you're then ready to go you've got the change through your gears there you'll see the changes on the dashboard there as you go through and when you change up through the bigger ranges you'll see your joystick on the right there changes too along with the numbers uh, lights and switches are all functioning in here as well but what I particularly like when you come on into the store and have a look at this Massey here is there's just the range of options that you have when we start to dial it in there. Come on into the small tractor range here and you'll find it towards the end of your mods. So you have the, all these different options here. There are six different options depending upon engine size, cylinder series size as well. You've got the older model with the drop nose and the slightly newer model there as well and then the, the second gen on top of that. But just so much detail has gone into making sure all of these options are available. Furthermore, when you start to look through it, there's even configurable packages there. So without having to go through and change all the individual configurations, of which there are many, you can just change this configuration package and it will give you an up-to-date or a, a higher spec model as well. Really, really nicely thought out and designed there. A beautiful tractor, I must say, and something that we're, I've been using frequently on many of my series uh, and will continue to use on the tenant farmer for a little while longer as well. And this next tractor came out here this blew me away with what it was able to do this is the voucher t120 t190 series by farmery 99 a voucher fanatic there and a brilliant brilliant creator of mods this thing blows everything else out of the water for detail and i am 
not exaggerating. It is incredible. For a start, externally, it looks brilliant. The configurable options in store are insane, and you can really dial this up to have any specification that you would want uh, to have. There's even options to have the specific class standard as well in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, but as you see, you look through the specifications and the configurations there, there's many, there's so many of them to look into there. So you can really get lost in that, uh, which is always great. There's different specifications for the cab as well, but you're really looking at a fantastic tractor. It, it, it gives you a lot of power for everything you need. You're going from about, uh, uh, about 120 horsepower all the way through to 210. So there's ample power in here for you to do anything you need. Uh, as you start up there as well, you'll see right now we've gone for more, uh, one of the more premium packages you've even got the uh reverse drive on there as well uh but we don't need that for right now what we do need to do is shut that door uh and then we can start have a bit of a play around you'll see again animations are key in here uh we're already in gear but if we start to go down through the gears there naturally you're going to see all of our gearboxes move the switches on this side are something to behold there as you start to turn on all of the lights light switches start to turn on and same thing for the beacon i really love that I love how clean everything is down here. When you engage the PTO, you better believe it, the PTO lever moves as well. It's just incredible. Everything has been thought out here, and it doesn't leave any stone unturned. Uh, it looks like a, it's a really nice track to look out of as well. That The way that nose slopes down is really quite cool. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, very, very impressed with this. This has been fantastic. I do absolutely love this. Uh, let me know what your favorite color preferences are on this one, and if you've got this setup as well, because I know there are so many different options. And let's not forget sounds incredible as well it sounds really meaty you've got to love that and then we come on into the larger machines we're gonna start with the old horse here we're gonna start with the kirovitz now it's not something that many uh gamers or users will be too familiar with but you have to admire the detail and the effort that has gone into making this as we have a wander around the outside first of all look at that power plant look at the size of that engine there and the detail involved in it it's absolutely incredible as we come further on around again you'll see more hoses and pipes everywhere that you need chains along the back there and a full beast of a, a three-point linkage there to go with it everything on this is configurable to a degree you can change the paintwork to the pattern that we have here you can add so many wheel weights and change the color of the rims in there as well and there's so many more design features as we come on into the store once more you'll see that you can simply get lost in the source here there is so much to, to tweak with and to turn and, and change but it's just incredible what i want to show you now though is as we get on into this cab it's a it's boxy it's big again animation when everything starts the dials all start to respond there and now you're driving what feels like an absolute tank uh, but first of all, you'll see, look at all the different combat, uh, the, the key combinations on the side. So you can actually open, close and shut your doors there. And when the doors are shut, first of all, the, the door handle moves when you shut there. But then you can actually lower and open the window on this side as well, which is just absolutely bonkers. When we come on out the cab as well, you'll see that I'm now being able to control the animations on and the, the functions of the rear hydraulics with my left shift and arrow keys there as well come back in just everything seems so big i love it just such a feeling of absolute invincibility inside of this thing it just sounds epic it looks epic all the dials are moving this the giant engine on the front here is whistling at you as you go there it has 220 horsepower so despite the size it's not the biggest but it just feels indestructible and i absolutely love it there's animations galore there. They've uh, dialed in the and added in an automatic gearbox as well, should you want it. Uh, but yeah, it is just epic. As we look down here at the gear levers, all these levers are going to do something as I start to change gears, which I just think, I don't know what or how it's working there, but it is. And it's just incredible. Really, really is. And that is going to be us into uh, reverse there as well. And then you've got your split range there for your uh, one, two, three, four. Just incredible. Absolutely stunning. This is a cross um, PC and Mac. There is a crossplay version available as well, which likely has some of these removed. Uh, it is by three people, Earl and 10, Mac and Timozenov 102. Just incredible. Very, very, very impressive model. Just listen to it. Sounds like, this sounds, oh, this thing, perfect. Absolutely perfect. And finally, I chose this fence. This is the 1000 series here. And this one is by Custom Modding. And it was a toss up between this and the John Deere. But we went for this for a few reasons. Very similar in terms of the two tractors. There's a nice big tractor. Uh, this one has a little bit more animation to it. 
it is uh it has the awesome functionality that the uh now you can obviously open and close your door and your back windows you can see there but you can also raise and lower your suspension to fit when you need to which i really do kind of like that that's always nice to see uh internally it is what you'd expect to see here very nicely laid out but you can choose which generation of tractor you're going to want to use here Recently, Fen have gone through a few different iterations with their bigger machines, and now they're starting to tell here with the interiors, different displays, different models, and you have the option to have them all. As you can see, things start to change inside the cab there as well. Much more in terms of your monitors and your screens, and just a few more options. But ultimately, very nice. Lots of different configurables. Again, one of the best configurables that you can see here is that you can have, frankly, ginormous wheels on here look at all the different options there you got your multi-wheel row crops there if you need it and you're more of a north american style gamer uh, you got triple wheel twin wheels there or twiffle wheel rear wheels there which is easy for me to say uh but you've also got wherever they are absolutely ginormous lizards just look at them just absolutely huge incredible love it love it love it love it uh, but yeah really nice tractor you can put a quick hitch on the back there if you want now that's not going to quite line up with some of the different uh styles of, of users there and players but ultimately i just do like big new fence and i think this one is really really nice to see uh there are several of the large tractors there that were very close to making the cut there shout out to the uh john deere seven half mainly but i went for this one in the end now i'm sure there are going to be many other options out there and some that you'll agree with and some that you won't agree with here so let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite were we are going to be doing a bit of a separate view into some of the packs that are available because there are some fantastic fantastic packs out there that we really want to do a deep dive into but this is my review of the top five tractors one year into farming simulator 22 there's a lot more to come i'm sure there's a lot more mods that we're going to review let me know what categories you'd like us to break down as well and we'll do it all in the next episode until then do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll catch you later.